All right, question number three. Um, it says Dana has three hours to spend training for an upcoming race. She completes her training by running full speed the distance of the race and walking back the same distance to cool down. If she runs at a speed of eight miles per hour and walks back at a speed of two miles per hour, how long should she plan to walk back? Okay, so another distance application problem. So distance is equal to speed times time. This time they tell us our total time. T is equal to three, okay? <clears throat> so we're not doing um, three hours for each part. The total uh, time is three hours. So what we get from here is that um, she has a running speed, a running time, plus a walking time. So I'm doing R for running, uh, W for walking, and that equals 3. So if I need a comparison, <clears throat> if I just subtract W from both sides, I come up with this new equation. Whatever time it took her to run, it's going to be equal to three hours minus the time it took her to walk. Okay. <clears throat> so I don't know what these times are, um, but I'm just going to use x, or t is the time, so t, and I'm going to use x um, for this unknown. Okay. So here's what we get. The distance is equal to we'll say um, eight miles per hour, let's just, let's just say eight, sorry. Distance equals to speed, which is eight, times the running speed, which we're gonna say the running speed is equal to, the running time, sorry, is equal to three minus x. Okay, because she didn't run for three hours, she ran for uh, three hours minus the part that she walked. Okay, and then her walking time or walking uh, distance is two miles per hour times x. We're just calling x is the time it takes her to walk. And then if we subtract that time from three hours, that leaves us how much time it took her to run. And you can actually flip flop these, it will still work the same. But either way, these two distances are equal because she ran the distance and then she walked the distance. So we're going to set these two equal to each other. So we have 8 times 3 minus x equals 2x. And then we're going to distribute 8. And so we get 24 minus 8x equals 2x. And then we're going to add 8x to each side. The 8x will cancel on the left. We'll be left with 24 is equal to 10x. And then we're going to divide by 10 on each side. And divide by 10 and we get 2.4 equals x. So we are labeling x as the amount of time she walked. And I put it that way because that's what the question is asking. How long should she plan to walk? So that's why I wanted X to be the walking time. Um, this is giving us our answer. And so she should walk for about 2.4 hours.